Hey what's up everyone, how you all doing today? Welcome to episode 15 of a Let's Play series of Grounded. Last episode we did a bit of exploring, got into a couple of caves, got the pants scared out and we buy another spider or two, which is great. Always love a good old spider scare. Here we are in a house, looks like a lot of the bugged stuff isn't bugged anymore. Our sconce lights are back on. Now I did replace the dew collector, but the dew collector's working. Oh, and we've got some mushrooms as well. I only got mushrooms from one farm, which is interesting, but we've still got some. Let's grab them, see how long it takes them to come back. I'll get rid of this grass just in case that's in the way. I don't know why it would be, but... Let's get that out of the way. Okay, so, the plan for today um, is going to be another base base place episode so I've got this big old space on my wall here and an episode or two ago where's it all gonna be a decor unlock some cool stuff so I got the weapon wall mount and I've got the armor dummy so what I'd like to do today is make a load of these armor dummies make a load of the weapon wall mounts I'm gonna populate this wall with a lot of them and then I think it's this box here that's got all my spare armor and tools and weapons in. I know empty that. I want to get it all along that wall. All nice and neat and tidy. And then in the sort of whilst I'm doing all that, if those mushrooms don't grow back too quick, I'm gonna replace the mushroom farm, see if they work again. And just a couple of other little bits of you know, just just tidying up and tightening about with the base just to get it running nice. So the main thing I'm gonna need for these items here is clay. Now I do have a little bit of clay, but I do literally only have a little bit of it, and it looks like we're going to need quite a lot. Everything else is just sprigs and woven fibre. So I've got to do a little bit of a mission about, try and find some. I know there is a little bit of clay by Rick Rock Point, and then I've seen some more, I guess it's this area here, around all the, the, the water area near the berry bush. And it sounds like I'm pretty thirsty. Let's go get some high quality H2 openers. Eat some shrooms. I'm going to make my way off to the first bit of clay. And I'll jump back when I'm there, guys. Oh, here we go, guys. I just literally got out my back door. There's a lump of clay right here already. It's on the map. Right by this laser. By the foot of this laser. Where the rest of that clay go? There we go. So didn't get much from that. It looks like half it rolled away. Right, make my way over to the next bit. And I'll, I'll jump back when I'm there so you can see where it is. Well, here I am at the second spot, guys. Um, it's just on the edge of the end of a the rock there. That's a rake. That's rake rock. I know there definitely was some clay in this, this little puddle the last time I come. But I guess it just hasn't respawned yet. Which is a bit gutting, so I can't sh sort of prove to you that it's there, but I'm pretty sure there'll be a lump there. So now I'm going to make my way to the next bit, which is going to be over in this water here. I think there's a few chunks dotted about. So once again, when I find them, I'll cut back and bring you in and show you guys where it all is. Alright, here we go. I think I've hit a bit of a mother load here. So, I'm right on the corner of the water here. So this is a fallen oak tree. And then there's some, what is it, yoked girth head. No idea what a yoked girth is, but that's that's the action figure head. So there's a lump of clay here. You can see there's a couple of lumps just around there. There's, I think there's one or two just in the distance there. So lots of clay here. So I'm going to harvest all this up.
Alright guys, I've got my clay. So what we've got? 30, 40, 50. We've got 60 clay. I'm pretty sure that's going to... If it doesn't do us, it's going to get us quite close. So I'm in pretty much the same sort of place here. That's the action figure head there. There's a fallen battle toad. Now, before I go back to base, I've got... Oh, hold on, let's have a quick drink. I've got Scabby shouting at me that I'm right on top of some science here. Now, I've had a little peek. I'm pretty sure this is a scary spider cave. So I'm going to be part brave and part stupid. I'm going to antagonise this spider out. And see if I can get the glorious science within. Okay. Very cool, that was quick. That was very quick. Very quick. Crap, 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 crap. Whoa, oh. Didn't realise he's going to be able to climb up that thing after me. Is he still behind me? No. Okay. Oh, I see where it is, though. How are we going to play this? How are we going to play this? Whoa. Should we lure it for plank? Is the plank good? Where's it gone? Where'd it go? Didn't just go back in its hole, did it? Uh, oh, you scary spider! I think it's just gone back into its hole. Go back into its hole? Yeah, it did. Um, I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come back to that because I think there's something else I can make that I've not made yet. Is it going to be workbench tools? I want to make a bomb. Oh, I need ant eggs. Maybe I'm not going to make a bomb. I haven't got ant eggs. Don't know where to get them from yet. Whoop. It's not come out of its hole. Oh, that's even worse. Whoop. Shoot it in the leg. Oh, that's counting. Yeah, just stay there, scary spider, please. Hold my underwear to stay clean today. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've not even checked see how many arrows I've got. Let's just keep our fingers and toes crossed. Is that it? I've oh, run out of arrows. Oh well, we're going to finish the job brave. But it's dead! How did it kill me? That was a bloody bum tickler. Holy crap. Okay, here I am. Back at the cave where I killed the scary spider. But somehow it managed to kill me, even though it was upside down and dead. There wasn't another one, was there? No. Let's get some of these back. Ooh, freaks me out. What's that flashing? Is that another scabby? Girth scape? That's a bit naughty, isn't it? Now, I've got a torch. I think I'm in. Let's just have a quick check there's nothing oh, else in here so I don't have to do that again okay how can I put the torch away unequip brilliant 
Right, let's see what our new scabby profile's like. Girth skate. That was a bit brown. Uh, it's pretty much time to head back to base now. It's getting to night, but I do have a burgle mission to complete marker at Fallen Oak Branch. And that is just here. So I think it'd be rude not to try and do this quick whilst we're here. So what's the time? 20 to 7. We've got a little bit of time. Interesting. I'm definitely for Fallen Oak Branch. But there's no marker up here. Not if I can see. Definitely not up here. No, I'll be able to see it for sure by now. On that branch. No. Definitely not up that branch. Definitely not up that one. And it's not at this end either. Where the hell is that marker then? Okay, back to base it is then. Made it back to base, guys. And I think it's perfect timing, really. It's just clocked into night time. So we'll go take a little snooze. I'll reconvene in the morning. All right, fresh day. Let's get our craft on. So how many sets of armor do we have? We've got one, two, three, plus the set we're wearing, four. There's some extra bits there, five. And then I think there's armour I've not made. Oh, we've got to sort out this um this colour profile, but Girthscape is pants. What's supreme? Whoa! Blimey. Let's see if we can live with that for a bit. So what we're doing, armour, workbench gear. Done ant stuff, acorns. Oh, okay, so there's grub and ladybug stuff that we're still not done. What's the grub? It's just an extra bit of stamina. Hmm. Don't know if we'll do that. We'll definitely go with a bit of ladybug. We've got extra block and strength, so we're going to need six armor dummies. That's quite a few. I'm kind of hoping I can get the, um, the tool racks in between them. So, one, two, three, four... Look at that, it's almost like I planned that, perfect amount of clay. So I need a whole load of woven fibre and a whole load of sprigs. Right, I, I know I definitely don't have a million sprigs, so I'll save you the boredom of watching me pick a load. So I'm just going to go grab a load of sprigs, make a load of woven fibre, and I'll be back to finish off all these dummies. Right guys, I'm back. I think I've got all the sprigs and woven fibre I need. So let's slap it all together. Mm. 
missing ingredients. Still need some more woven fibre. Blimey, I made loads of that. Is that going to be enough? No, one more. Oh. Hey, hey. Cool. I like it. So let's dump off all the um, all the materials I've got on me that I don't want for now. I can fill up with all the armor and all the weapons and tools and find a home for everything. Okay. For starters, let's just click... Oh, blimey, look at that. Okay, so you double click them. A bit weird, that camera angle weird weirdness. Okay, let's go about for now. Get a weird little blip blip noise. It's like scabbies, I don't know, scanning or registering all the armour or something. I think what we'll do is we'll take these bits off of here. Take the legs to it. There we go. So they're all complete sets of armour. That one at the back's pretty useless, but it's our starting one. So that'll be the ladybug armour. I think for this one, I'm just gonna put all these random bits on. Because it makes a full a full set. In fact, that mask with those shoulder pads looks pretty cool. So we've got to craft ourselves up some ladybug armour. I really don't want to do that grab stuff. I don't see the point. I'm not going to use it. And it's pretty ugly. But we can... We can get two items on these? No. Why is there... Two slots. If only let's you put one thing. Oh well. Shovel don't use very often. Torch up there? What does that look like? There you go, it gives it some light. Dual purpose there. Let's put one of the spare axes on, why not? Our old bow. So, apart from that ant, let's take that ant club back. Put the pebble hammer in there, maybe. So that's all tier one stuff. I think. Yeah, that's all tier one stuff. So on me, I've got the tier two stuff. Let's just check. I've got my ant club and the bow. I haven't made the hammer yet, have I? The um, insect hammer. So what do we need for that? Four stink bug parts, four berry leather, one boiling gland. Stink bug... Oh, we haven't got enough stink bug parts. Okay, so we've got to go and get some stink bug parts in a bit. And then for the ladybug bits, what do we need? Ladybug head and parts and lots of berry leather. And a few flower petals. How many of them did we have? Two. So I need to get berry leather... I need to get flower petals. I need to kill ladybugs. I need to kill stink bugs. Okay, so I'm going to go out on an excursion, guys. I'm going to try and harvest as many of these bits as I can. And uh, I'll cut back in when I've got some action. I think first is going to be stink bugs.
stamina. I hope that spider stays asleep. Oh, got him. Bloody hell. Oh, God. I was looking at that big spider and that little thing jumped on me and that scared the bejesus out of me. You annoying little mite. Okay, so guys, I have um, I spent the in-game day hunting ladybugs. I've only found one, but I did get lots of stink bug parts. So I'm pretty sure it was the um, the hammer I was trying to make with the stink bug parts. Yep. So we've got enough of them. One boiling gland, four berry liver. I think we can do that. Um, got five berries, three bits of liver already. Boiling gland. Oh, explosive gland. Is that not the same? Oh, what? Oh, there you go. Yeah, it is. It's the same thing. That's fine then. Okay, um, craft, make some more berry leather. And then hopefully we can make this. Yeah. Let's have a little look. Cool. Level 2 hammer at last. Probably should have done that a bit earlier, but there we go. Okay, so we're getting there now. I'm nearly there. I've just got to do some inventory management. Then I'll go get all the rest of the resources we need. See you in a bit. So I've only just started my hunt for ladybug parts and other bits. And I've already got distracted by this ditch. Oh, What's this I've found? Just give me a creepy cave. Once again, I've not got a torch. Good job, Mark. Yeah. Just see if something's going to eat me. What is this? What is this? Five hundred research. More granola bars. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Burgle, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tired. <laughs> Oh. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent. Hey, spider legs. I'm going to come back here when I've got a torch. Order received. So I finally got all my ladybug parts, I've harvested all the berries in that bush that I can get to, so I hope I've got enough. I'm going to go check out um, this area over here, see if I can get some flower petals. I think I've just found something else here. So, I'm right on the corner. So like berry bushes here, secret lab thing is here. Look right there. 
There's another sneaky secret door thing. Saw the creek crawling. Oh god, spiders all around us as an infant. I want to get into that secret door. I wonder what's in there. Oh well, that's going to have to wait for another day. Let's get around here and someone will find these flower petals. Guys, it's a new morning, but it is about the fourth sleep I've had to do to get all this done. I've had to go to the berry bush area twice to get berries, and it's taken me literally, it's been four in game days to find the ladybugs I need. But I've counted everything. I'm like 99% sure I've got everything I need to do this armor now. This has been such a ball lake finding the ladybugs, it really has. Here we go. Ladybug faceplate. Bosh. Built. Ladybug chestplate. Done. Ladybug shin guards. Yes! It's all made. It's all made. Oh. Why is, why is there three without any armour on there? That's a bit odd. So. Ladybug stuff. Look at that. All the ladybug stuff is up. What armour have I got on me then? I've only got the spider armour on me and the mask from this one. So why is there still one free? Is that ant armour? Where's the rest of the ant armour gone? Okay, so I've had some ant armor actually like disappear and disintegrate. So let's see if I can craft some more of that up whilst we're here. Helmet and arm guards. We need ant parts, mite fuzz, acid glands. Ant parts, mite fuzz. Maybe acid glands. Acid glands. Why? I don't know what happened to my ant armor. One ant head. One ant head. There we go. Let's just check that the stands don't have extra armor in for some reason. No. So it's my cloth armor, acorn armor, ant armor, ladybug armor, and that would be the one. I oh, know, look, I've got, I've got ant armor on me. Why? Have, how have I got ant armor on me? There wasn't any in my inventory, and there wasn't any in the armor stand. That's confuzzled. The absolute what's it's out of me there. Oh well, let's slap it in here. Okay, I'm going to call it there. So that's that's. Whew. That's been like two hours of recording for me to get like a 30, 40 minute episode. Those ladybugs were an absolute pain in the butt crack. However, we've built all our armor stands. We've got a load of tool and weapon racks up as well, which is pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, something else we did. I got some of these aphids. And we made jerky. So let's have a little nibble on our jerky. Okay, so that's, it's not going to tell us how, filled. yeah, so it's filled our food up, but I made this a little dehydrated, uh, if you have a look at the jerky, so it's edible, but dehydrate, so it does dehydrate you a little bit, and it also looks like our mushroom farms are back up and running again, so quite a result really, quite a result, we've got all that crap crafted up, we now have all the armour that I'm aware of, apart from the grub armour, but I'm not going to make the grub armour, there's kind of no point to it. 
but I think there's still a couple of tools and weapons to do. We've, we've made the, the tier 2 hammer now, which is sweet. We've done the first bit of smoothies. Let's have a quick look. Yes, yeah, so we have done all the armor apart from the grub stuff that we know about anyway. Tools, apart from the funky arrows, we've got all the tools so far that we've discovered, I think. Workbench tools. Okay, so we haven't made the bomb. So we're going to need to find some ant eggs to make a bomb. Of a super armor glue. That's about it, I think. So we're slowly getting to the end of the um, of the content, I think. I did find out of a sneaky door today. So next episode... <coughs> excuse me. Next episode, I'm definitely going to build some kind of bridge or staircase up to that secret door. See what that's about. And I think I'm going to explore a couple of the creepy caves I found today as well. Um, yeah, I really want to try and find everything I can in the game. I've heard about some, some mints as well. You can get into that mint box for box of mints. Or clubbing your way in or something. So I'm going to have to have a little look at that as well. But for now, that's it for today, guys. It's been a long, exhausting one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. Um, leave us some comments. Some comments would be lovely. Stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.